Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Queen Elizabeth was one of 73 world leaders whose message to NASA's Apollo 11 is etched onto a silicon disk and left on the moon in 1969 after the crew members became the first humans to walk on the lunar surface. The Queen died at the age of 96 on September 8, but her salute to the skill and courage of the space-faring heroes, on behalf of the British people, will forever stay on the moon. Along with sending a message with Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. She also met with them at Buckingham Palace three months after the team returned home from their epic journey to the moon. The Queen is known for her long-standing presence in humanity's journey to space and NASA shared its condolences on Twitter within hours of the Queen's death, tweeting. Queen Elizabeth II's reign spanned all of spaceflight, predating both Sputnik and Explorer 1. As we join the planet in marking her passing, we are moved by the curiosity Her Royal Highness showed our explorers over the years. The disc is about the size of a 50-cent coin and is made of a non-metallic chemical element found in nature and is used widely in electronics. According to NASA's press release published on July 11, 1969 nine days before Apollo 11 touched down on the moon, the Queen's full message reads, On behalf of the British people I salute the skill and courage which have brought man to the moon. May this endeavor increase the knowledge and well-being of mankind. Her message and 72 others were reduced 200 times smaller than the head of a pin before they were etched on the gray-colored disc, and each message appears as a dot. There are messages from President Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson and Nixon. At the top of the disc is the inscription. Goodwill messages from around the world brought to the moon by the astronauts of Apollo 11. Around the rim is the statement, from planet, Earth, July 1969. The messages from foreign leaders congratulate the United States and its astronauts and also express hope for peace to all nations of the world, the NASA press release reads. Some are handwritten. Others typed and many are in native language. A highly decorative message from the Vatican is signed by Pope Paul. The Queen has had a great interest in humanity's journey to the final frontier. As she met Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin on July 14, 1961 after he made history as the first person to visit space. Aldrin who is the last living member of Apollo 11 tweeted his condolences Thursday. God bless.